Hey guys, what's up? The sun is shining, spring is here, the tennis summer season is around the corner. I will get you ready to play on the clay by learning how to deal with all the elements. So let's get right into it and enjoy the video. So it was a long winter, we've played indoors pretty much from end of September until now and indoors the game is different, it's pretty much always the same except for maybe the surface, it could be a little bit colder or warmer but uh, there's no sun hindering you, there's no rain delaying the match and there's no wind blowing. So now it's outdoor season and you kind of have to relearn tennis in a, in a way, it's a completely different game and today I will share with you how to deal with all of the elements. Hey guys, really important, if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and also leave me a comment of what type of topics I should talk about in the upcoming videos. And for more content, also check out my Instagram and TikTok. It's also Hendrik Jebens. And now back to the video to kick ass in the outdoor season. So let's start with the most obvious and one of the most annoying things when you get back outdoor, the sun. So especially early in the season it can feel like it's very bright when you come outdoors when you're working inside uh, the whole day sitting in office sitting in school and then you go outdoors to play tennis the sun can be very hindering so obviously a really easy fix is uh, to wear a hat and also if you have a lot of problems you can think about uh, sports sunglasses what I personally do is if I have a match on that day, I don't wear my sunglasses around. Normally it's very important to wear sunglasses to protect yourself from the sun. Also make sure to wear sunscreen because you can burn very easily in the beginning of the, the summer and the beginning of the spring. But if you want to perform well in a match, don't walk around with your head down and sunglasses because then it will be so bright that you will be irritated. Then, when you're on the match court, leverage also the sun. The sun will shine usually if you're righty, just aggressive during certain times in the day and just from one side of the court. So maybe early in the match, you can try to yeah, leverage the coin toss by letting your opponent start against the sun. One more thing, if the sun is really annoying you, for me this is oftentimes during matches at noon or 1 p.m., you have to adapt your position on the surf. So, before you start changing your ball toss, which is very complicated and you have to be quite advanced, I recommend you just move a bit more to the right, to the left, to see the spot uh, where the sun is not annoying you directly because a quality surf will still have a big effect even if your positioning is a bit off. And the worst thing that can happen is that the sun irritates you so much that you can't see the first ball after the surf or even start missing, uh, yeah, too many serves which will lead to easy breaks for your opponent which will reduce your confidence and then uh, yeah it will be very tough to win and uh, yeah that's not the way we play because we will be prepared when we step on the court the second important element to consider when playing outdoors is the wind the wind can be very frustrating especially if you're playing close to the water to the ocean it's extremely windy uh, but even if you're playing somewhere else far away from the beach, it can be still very windy and it's a very big factor to consider when playing outdoors. So, first of all, you have a lot of less margin when playing with the wind because, let's face it, we don't know how strong the wind will blow in any certain moment. It's just something that's out of our control. But we can still control the controllables. This is a very crucial aspect of tennis as well. So, if it's windy and if it, the wind is blowing very strong, you have to give yourself more margin. Usually, I'm a very big fan of not aiming to the lines, aiming close to the lines. But if it's super windy, you might even increase that radius. Like, you might even go, yeah, instead of like a few centimeters, you will go a meter away from the line. Especially on clay, it is very difficult to finish the points even with very aggressive shots. The reward for going closer to the lines and hitting very aggressive are quite diminished and even more so if you have a very windy condition. Stay away, give yourself more margin because you have to reduce errors. Reducing errors is key on clay. The second thing is you have to get a feeling at any moment how the wind is going. If you have a lot of wind coming from the back, 
you will have to hit with a lot less power. If you overhit your shot, it will fly way beyond the baseline, also causing many easy errors. You want to play with a lot of top spin, like we call it tight top spin. Focus on making the ball drop quite soon. It doesn't even have to be the strongest or hardest shot you hit the wind will give you enough energy. Actually, if you make a lot of balls with wind coming from your back, you will still be the aggressive one in the rally and control. Because think about it, if you have the wind blowing behind you, the opponent is playing against the wind and has to play very, very intense shots. <coughs> Bonus tip if you want to beat me, plant some uh, yeah, allergy trees uh, next to the court because then I will not be able to play. The other scenario is you play against the wind. You have a lot of wind coming at you. This is a very difficult situation, especially if you don't like to hit hard. The thing is, if you have the wind blowing against you, it will be very easy for your opponent, if he or she is clever, to put you in a defensive position. So an important thing is when playing against the wind, you have to give yourself room to hit harder than usually. It's very weird to do that if it's not comfortable for you or if you don't do that, but you have to do it because if the wind is going against you, it is very tough to make a mistake um, that the ball flies like too far. So you will be surprised how hard you can actually hit and you can also surprise your opponent if you hit very hard. She might think or he might think that, uh, yeah, I'm in control, I have the wind in my back and then out of a sudden you're hammering the balls right before the line and it will confuse them and then they will make errors, they will be out of position. So really stick to hitting aggressive uh, when the wind is blowing against you. And still don't be surprised even if you hit big that uh, you will not uh, be able to get in control of the rally. So the most important thing considering these two topics when playing with the wind is awareness. You have to be aware what is happening and you have to also give yourself room and understand it's not normal conditions, especially if it winds very strong, that uh, you have to adapt and that the player that will play best with the wind on that day is going to take the victory and that's what we want. So don't complain. Many people complain, oh, it's windy. Uh, the wind is the same for both players. So don't complain. Try to make the most out of it. Use the tips I'm giving you and compete well and you will be very ready to play your best tennis, even when it's windy. You've waited all week for your favorite club match on a Sunday. You wake up, it's raining, you get to the court and the water is a foot high. You don't even see the clay anymore. It's raining and it's frustrating. The rain, it has many aspects you have to consider. First of all, the most obvious is the rain delay, which is very mental. You're eager to play, you want to compete. I mean, we're athletes, we're tennis players. In every level, we want to play the match. Like, we don't want to practice all the time. We want to compete, we want to beat other players and just feel this thrill of, of playing the match. But if it's raining, you just have to wait. Like, none of us can control the rain. There's rain ra radars and everything, but who knows in the end how much it will rain, how fast the court will get dry again. Like, no one knows. So, patience is key. And with patience also comes being clever to be ready when it starts. So one, focus on nutrition. Don't uh, sit around the whole day and eat nothing, don't drink anything. If you can tell it will take some hours until you play, make sure you eat something because you need energy. This is a big mistake. I've made this as a junior. It was raining and then I thought, oh, it's gonna start soon, it's gonna start soon. And then I played six hours later, but I didn't eat and I had no energy and I lost the match easily. So don't give away matches like this. So eat, but also don't eat too much. Like don't eat a full meal if someone said, ah, the courts might be ready in 30 minutes. So you keep talking to the people that are in charge that are supervising to know when it starts. Then secondly, mentally, you have to stay sharp. So if you know it will take some time, Relax, you know, talk to your teammates, talk to your parents, talk to your friends, significant others, maybe make a phone call if you're alone, watch something else, have a coffee, you know, like decompress, like no one can be match ready the whole day. So you have to build up the tension before the match. Personally, I don't need so much time to do that. Maybe you need more, but definitely don't stay ready and anxious uh, even the whole time. So this is the important aspect of the waiting when it's raining. The next thing is the playing conditions. So it has rained and the courts were wet. 
especially on clay court. The court will be playable, but it will be totally different conditions. Like even if it's sunny and hot out of a sudden, the court will be heavy, it will be slower. So if you're a big hitter, your shots will have less effect, but they will still have more effect as opposed to a player that's maybe more defensive and probably has a weaker second serve. So you have to keep all of these things in mind. You cannot get frustrated if your big shots are not working like usual, but you can still try to take cuts here and there and attack very weak shots of your opponent because when it's slow, you have more time. And so if you're a defensive player and maybe you don't have the biggest second serve, then in wet and heavy conditions, focus on making a lot of first serves and then embrace your defensive qualities by making a lot of balls, giving your opponent one more ball to strike and they will go crazy because they think, oh, I'm hitting big, I'm hitting big, but the court is slow. And yeah, then you can leverage it this way. But if you don't make a lot of first serves and you can be really attacked on your second serve, it might still be tough even if you defend well in the longer rallies. But then if you lose almost every second serve point, you will be under pressure, which will also make the defending a lot tougher. Because even defending players, just as offensive players, they have to execute well on their plays. Like this is also something many people don't think about. Both sides have the pressure of playing well. Like, just because you're a big hitter and the other guy makes balls, it's not easy for him. And on the other side, if you're a defensive player and you're getting crushed by huge shots, it's not easy for the other guy like you always, or the other girl. You always have to play well and execute. And this takes a good mentality. And if you're not prepared for the heavy rainy conditions and think about what happens, then it's really tough to do that. So we had the three elements, wind, sun and rain. The key thing I want you to know is be aware. Be aware of the conditions outdoors. You constantly have to think and re-evaluate how is the sun now, how is the wind, how, are, how is the rain, how are the conditions even changing. Like indoors the match is the same condition the whole time. Outdoors the conditions change. Now it's windy, now it's raining. So always before every point make a quick mental effort or at least before every game how are the conditions? How can I kind of adapt my game? A bit more topspin, maybe a bit more power against the wind, changing my serving position, reminding myself the conditions are very slow because of the rain, and you will have all the tools for success for the outdoor season and to maximize your tennis potential.